Hey, good morning, everybody. It's one of those rare, double, for me rare, a double post in one day. But I bought this Sally Hansen Insta-Dry nail polish in, I think it was, well, it was a couple days ago. And I love the color in the bottle. It's got kind of a rainbowy sheen to it. And it's called Lavish Lilac in the Sally Hansen brand. Uh, beware, Lux finish means it's going to look like chalk. It's not flat, it looks dry, thin. You can see through it, you can see streaks if your nails through it, no matter how many coats you put on. It's pretty awful. If it looked like it looks in the bottle, like it often does when you buy, you know, nail polish, it would have been fabulous. I put it on one hand and then I wiped it off. I, I, this is a no go and I'm real sorry I bought this. I might pass it on to Patience, my granddaughter. I'll ask her mother first. Her mother may not want this in the house, you know. It's she's nine, so she might have a boo boo with it. So anyway, back to the drawing board with that. My name is Kendra, and this is my channel. And I did this morning at six thirty a.m. Pacific Standard Time. This is just a top coat I use. OPI Infinite Finish Shine Three. Anyway, this morning I did a quick video on what was it on oh my haul for st vinnie's and i've got all the glassware washed and everything and it really wasn't too much but it was fun to do here's my meal plan it's nine o'clock in the morning here the kids have gone to work and my husband is still in bed i think he stayed up really late last night so we've already done this one and this one both totally out of order Oh, and this one. So today I might do, on topic, it's Wednesday, I might do creamy ranch beef and noodle or shepherd's pie. I don't know. I'm leaning toward this. I already have the hamburger done. All I'd have to do is get the sauce and the noodles and everything together, put in some spices, you know. I know we also have to go to the grocery store because we're flat out of paper towels and gallon Ziploc bags, some other things. Uh, but it's going to be a pretty quiet day here. I think I'm going to hang out and come concentrate on my laundry situation and my laundry room situation, which is back to... Ugh. I need to sweep and mop and move things around and stuff like that. And other than that, I've been working on a word search. So last night I was doing crayon colors. Now some of these crayon colors are a little out there. Like I don't remember ever seeing shamrock or shadow. Uh, piggy pink. Maybe that's around. I don't remember that one. I guess, and beaver. I don't remember ever seeing that color of crayon. Anyway, I just have a few left to figure out here, and I'll be done. What I've been doing to make it easy on myself is to use different color pens. I do five per color, and then I can see what stands out better. Is that cheating, using a colored pen? I'm having fun with it anyway. I haven't done a word search in a long time. I got this book because my husband was going to have some oral surgery that was going to take a while, and I was going to—I I had to be in the waiting room in case he, you know, there was an emergency. Let, I'm going to go in there and handle this, but you know, to be aware that he's going to the hospital or something. And um, I was only in the waiting room 15 minutes, and they said everything's great. You can go wait in your car if you want to. And I said, well, all right, I'll listen to the radio and. I never did touch this until just a couple days ago, and I've done a couple of pages. Do you guys ever do these kind of puzzle books? It's a time killer, you know. I I have fun with it. I have a lot of books <laughs> right here alone. I've got my word search. I've got my meal planner. And I've got my calendar. I wonder what's going on on the week today.
Somebody asked about my calendar, and this is just the month at a view. And it's really just, you know, family stuff. But I went out to eat with my daughter and my son, and uh, my, my mother's birthday, my mother-in-law's birthday, my sister-in-law's birthday, mine. Uh, Joy went to the vet. What is this one? Um, something begins at sundown. Holy, Holy Palm Sunday. I didn't realize that. Well, that might be more, maybe they don't do that in the Baptist church. I don't remember it being, maybe it is. I know that they do the Palm Sunday in some churches, but we don't typically do that in the Baptist, I don't think. Not that I ever remember seeing. So, could be one church against another, not against, compared to another. But here's Easter coming up. I've got a free couple weeks coming up here. Joy went to the vet yesterday. No, two days ago, then it was my sister-in-law's birthday. And what does this say? Put your glasses on, Kendra. It says International Day of Happiness. Is that today? Well, I'm glad I looked at it. Today is the International Day of Happiness. So tell me something happy in the comments if you want. I would love to hear it. One of the ladies that I, I follow, um, she's something foodie, gaming foodie. I love her channel. I, I've been watching it for a couple of years now. And um, she just got a positive pregnancy test. And I thought that was precious that she showed everybody, you know, and she'd been trying for a while and suffered a loss and, and that kind of thing, like a lot of us have. So anyway, I guess that's it. Next week is pretty much, other than Easter, free. And we go on, well, I shouldn't say free, there's, Tesla in eight days will be 16, and she is my granddaughter. She's learned to drive a stick recently, and isn't that special? <laughs> That's it for that. I need to clean this table up, put this stuff away, and get this mess cleaned up. I went through the dog's medical records yesterday because I think Miss Joy got a double dose of rabies vaccine and I needed to prove it and I can now not that it matters I just hate doing that and for the cost and the stress on the dog's immune system and all of that and there hasn't been a case of rabies in a dog in Washington state since 1977 so what is that 45 46 years ago it's when I had my first baby it's been a while <sighs> 1977 so, you know, I guess it's rampant in cats everywhere, but these dogs don't travel around. I guess I have to pull one out of the mouth of a cougar, it might get. <laughs> anyway, take care, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. If you've never subscribed, I hope you consider doing that. I love to meet new people, and I am a chatter, as you can clearly see.